Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So here is another quick Revit tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to model this parametric bridge in Revit. Now, before we dive in, I highly recommend checking out my advanced 3D modeling course on LearnRevitOnline.com. And if you find this video helpful, you can also support my work on Patreon and gain access to over uh, 80 Revit project files. Now let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and uh, first let's go to the elevation here and I'm just going to change the height of this elevation to 15 feet which is going to be the height of this bridge. Now uh, we are going to use in place mass to create uh, this parametric bridge. So let's go to level 1 and go to massing inside and here first let's click show mass button and then in place mass and let's click OK and first we need to create uh, some reference planes so let's go here and select reference plane and i'm going to create uh, four of these and let's change the distance between these uh, work planes and we want to give five uh, feet uh, gap between each of these uh, work planes let's select this one five feet now uh, we need to name these reference planes so first let's select this one and i will just call it reference plane one let's call it uh, reference plane two then this should be three and this one should be four so the reference planes are now ready let's go to the elevation we want to go to this elevation here so let's go to east and i'm just going to create a rectangle here once I click on it, we'll get this dialog box. Here we just need to set the work plane to reference plane 1. Let's click OK. And I'm just going to create a rectangle here. A 15 feet by 15 feet rectangle. Let's tap select this line. And just make it 15 feet. And the height is already 15 feet as you can see here. So now let's go to 3D. And I'm just going to copy this rectangle to the other uh, work planes. So let's select this and click here, copy to clipboard, and then paste, align to same place. Now we'll get this warning, just ignore that. We still have this rectangle selected. We can simply change the uh, host or the reference plane. Let's select a uh, reference plane 2. There we go. Now let's repeat the same again. Just click copy to clipboard, paste, align to same place, and change the reference plane to uh, 3. Let's do that again. Copy, paste, change the reference plane. So we got four of these uh, rectangles here. Now we want to rotate them. So first I will just uh, click here to close all the inactive views uh, or the tabs. Now we can go to the elevation and press WT on the keyboard to split this screen. Now we have a 3D view and this elevation tab open up side by side. So it will be easy for us to rotate these rectangles. So let's select this one first and then click here. And still you can see this rectangle is still selected. We can just rotate it. Let's rotate it from here, 25 degrees, enter. Let's select the third one and go back to this window here. And this time I will rotate it 45 degrees. Perfect. Now we don't need this window. Just close this and go to the 3D view here. And in this 3D view, we can simply select all of these rectangles and click here. Uh, create form there we go let's change the visual style to shaded sd so it's looking something like this now we want to create a void here so let's go back to the elevation to the east elevation and i'm just going to create a rectangle here let's keep draw on face selected then we can hover over this face you can see uh, this face is now highlighted we can simply draw a rectangle then i'm just going to tap select this line and let's make a three feet gap from here 
and three feet on this side as well now i'm just going to go back to 3d view again and select this rectangle and create a void form let's use this gizmo and just drag it through this form like so just deselect this and there we go so we created this void as well so our mass form is now ready let's close the massing environment by clicking here finish mass we can use curtain system to create the metallic frames so let's go to architecture select curtain system and we'll just select these faces here just orbit around just hover over this edge and hit tab key to highlight the face and this uh, face as well just hit tab key so we have selected all these faces now we can just simply click create system there we go you got this uh, weird looking model here so to fix this we can simply edit the curtain system just select the curtain system here and then go to edit type let's duplicate this you can name it if you want i will just click ok now first we need to remove this glass panel so you can see we have this huge uh, glass panels here so to remove them we can simply select empty from here and then we want to remove the grid one as well so let's select none from here and we want to keep grid 2 just leave it fixed distance and spacing should be one foot and then just scroll down and we uh, we need to add the mullions to grid 2 as well so let's use this one two and a half inch by five inch then click ok just click delete grid lines hit ok there we go got this cool looking model here now we can simply create an array just go to the south elevation we can simply select all of this and create an array let's create from here first point second point should be here and we'll create six of these click ok there we go we have created this cool looking parametric bridge in revit of course you can hide uh, the mass by uh, clicking here show mass button in the massing and site tab or you can just press vg on the keyboard and turn off mass perfect so that's how easy it was to create this cool looking parametric bridge in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you found this video helpful you can also support my work on patreon and gain access to over 80 revit project files once again thank you for your support and i will catch you in the next video